Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a guy's trip today. Yes, yep, we got sir. the men of Lexus of Las Vegas here in the car. Mm -hmm. Saturday coffee run. Today, uh, we were talking in the car. We were, t you know, we were running some stuff by, like, we've got a lot of holidays coming up. Veter Veterans Day just passed. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we want to obviously um, honor our veterans and say thank you for what you do for us and what you've done for us. Thank you, guys. Right. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you for your service. And uh, we started saying Thanksgiving's coming up. We're you know really excited about that. We were looking at me and Charles were looking at a sign on the window of the coffee shop. It said Thanksgiving closed, and we're like, yep. man, it's really here. Like the holidays, right around the corner. Yep. So Las Vegas, uh, Lexa Las Vegas, and our and our our, our, our other store, Lexa Henderson, um, we're starting a toy drive for the holidays. Um, so we were talking about in the car what. Christmas gift or toy or whatever that you either got was your favorite or one you didn't get because um, there's a lot of you know kids out there that are, are lucky to have the toys that they get for holidays and there's some that are not so that's why we're doing the toy drive but uh, it was a fun conversation I, I started talking about there was a Ghostbuster toy that I wanted when I was really young nice. still haven't got it my parents didn't get it for me <laughs> I don't know why either but they, they didn't get it for me must have been a reason um I would have loved to have the Ghostbuster Firehouse is what I wanted when I was a, when I was a kid and I never got it and I grew out of it and that, that was it. Wow. So, um, I say time to get it. <laughs> time to, I could, yeah, I'm going to go like, right, the vintage, right, right. You know, the vintage toy store now. <laughs> right. Because they have one across the street from the dealership on the other side. It's pretty oh, cool. Nice. Have you ever seen a road the toys? Oh, I've never mm -hmm. been, but on the other corner, it's That's really, if you haven't, if you haven't gone to a, a cool store, shout out to Rogue Toys. Mm -hmm. I think they've got all the vintage oh, yeah. toys, and it's a okay. really cool store. That's yeah. right by Harley. Yeah, yeah. right by a car from Harley Davidson. Yeah. So, mine, mm -hmm. uh, that was actually, one year, I really wanted to get a guitar for my birthday, mm -hmm. or for Christmas, and uh, I didn't end up getting it that year. I got it for the following year on my birthday. And I actually ended up never using it, and then sat there collecting dust for uh, six years or so. And uh, my parents ended up giving it away. And well, that was the that was the gift I didn't get the year I wanted it. But when I got it, I never ended up using it. Still feel kind of bad that I don't know how to play any instruments. And that is an example of parents know everything, right? Like so, <laughs> yeah, kids really thank your parents. They know what they're doing. Um, mine was, I can't really remember the name of it, but it was an electric scooter that I always wanted. And my mom and dad kept telling me, no, no, no. And they gave in. And I know my mom told me I need to wear a helmet, I need to wear elbow pads. Right. First day, I went down the hill and fell, scraped the, the scooter up. And, oh. and it like worked, but it was still broke. But that was my favorite. I kept it for like a long time. Even when it didn't run, I still kept it. So that was probably my, nice. my gift. You know I what's funny wanted. about that, Bryce? Mm -hmm. So know what Bryce wants for Christmas this year? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your excuse. He wants a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. I, we need to talk to his parents right away. No. <laughs> Yeah. This is different, you know. Wow. I'm worried he's going to fall. But no. Good correlation, Bill. Yeah. That, that was a good Motorcycle one. coming soon. That's interesting. <laughs> Charles, what about Charles, you? Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever had really a favorite one, but my favorite thing to actually get, believe it or not, was like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Mm -hmm. um, they're like trading cards. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. really into Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards. Wow. Um, I would go to Toys R Us, you know, pick them up, oh. Walmart, wherever we were. Get these, get these cars. Can we say too? Bring back Toys R Us. Yes. Please. Yes. Please. Yeah. Please. Please bring back Toys R Us. Just on a different level. Though. Yeah. Just on a different level. Curve, um, but yeah, I would collect those. I still have them to this day. Um, I have like the all the classic ones, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I have some rare ones as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, but that was my favorite thing, though. Nice. So we probably should throw a little business in this too. So oh, yeah. we are driving in a very um, rare car for us we don't mm -hmm. usually get Maseratis Sport. right yeah. yeah so it's a Maserati Levante, Levante. I hope I'm pronouncing that right Levante, Levante. it's a uh, definitely low mileage 9,000 miles on it. I'm looking at the odometer right now 2018 2018 yep. it's um you know we all have our opinions on cars but we could probably all agree that this car drives nice it's oh, it's yeah, it sounds good and it's, it's fast, fast. Yeah. so uh, if you're looking for one of these we 
you've got it. Come on down. One of the best salespeople in the industry right here at the car. They're all there. Yeah, this is like a uh, family car on steroids. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's cool. I love it. Very nice. And then as we pull up to the dealership and start our day, we just want to remind you that the, the, the moral of this conversation was is we do have a toy drive, start, toy drive starting at Lexus of Las Vegas. Yes. And um, we want to end Lexus of Henderson, so wherever part of town you're on. Uh, we want you to bring your uh, wrap, unwrapped or wrapped gifts. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we really want the unwrapped gifts, but bring them down to the store. Um, we will donate them to FEAT, which supports the uh, autism awareness locally in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And um, we just want all your support this year. Pretend there'll be a lot more posts about our, our drive. Yes. But we want to make some kids uh, as happy as we were when we were kids getting Definitely. them wanted. Or, um, at least having that moment of you know, holidays, knowing that they're going to get something. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, We'll see you soon. It's Saturday. Brooks is doing a good job of parking this thing and not hitting the curves. So, uh, making me nervous, us. but hey, yeah, <laughs> at least we're back. We're yeah, safe. We're safe. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Saturday.